Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Swuss. It is Wednesday night, so we're back talking golf bets again, and we hit again. And I went, the, you went through four or five golfers last week. The two I picked, both cashed. Um, I yeah, took Ryan, uh, and what was the, Connors. Yeah, Corey Connors, the the hometown hero or home country hero, and uh, and Aaron Rye. So the th- out of the three that I or out of the five I gave you, actually three out of five hit. Um, and the only one that missed the cut was Norin, which you know was his first miss cut oh, of the yeah. year. So I didn't even yeah. see I, I didn't see him the whole time. I, the two I picked both cast, both top twenty, both plus money for me. Yeah. Put him in the Discord. It was awesome. We're going to have a losing week eventually. When is it going to come? Is it? <laughs> hey, I, I don't think it's this week, baby. I think we're going to keep confident? this mojo. I, I I think so. I think so. The Memorial Elevated Field. You know, the only thing I don't like about the Elevated Field is there's so many good guys and there's not a ton of value, right? Because there's so many good guys and everybody has a chance you know, to, to play well. So in terms of like the, the lower top 10, top 20 plays, you're not going to see, you know, a guy that's like you love that jumps out at you at, at good value there because there's just so many good players. So, you know, there's some names out there though, that I think we can, we can take some, some stabs at some value. Um, so, you know, let's, let's jump into it. Sure. Um, so I got three guys today and then I got a couple honorable mentions and I got a couple of, you know, outside the books uh, or out, you know, outside the box parlays or uh, plays. So first one I'm going back, we, we won on him two weeks ago um, in terms of course fit tool. He is the number one player in the field shots gained approach uh, using data golf and the course fit tool and data golf has been on for us. So I'm going back to Colin Morikawa top 10. Um, I think he definitely has the potential to win it. Uh, he's got a couple of top fives here at the Memorial. He's, you know, top 10 in the PGA championship. Uh, I finished third place a couple weeks ago when we took him. Uh, I'm going right back to him, uh, plus money in the top 10. Uh, I might even be tempted to play him in the top five, but I think still at plus money in the top 10, I think, uh, you know, that's, that's where my mind directly kind of goes to in my value. Yeah. I mean, when we bet him two weeks ago, that was a no doubter. He was in there yeah. the, the whole time, start to finish. Uh, I like mm-hmm. Colin. Yeah. Um, so player number two, again, we, we've mentioned him in a couple of different episodes so far. Um, Denny McCarthy lost last year in a playoff to Victor Hovland. So he finished solo second last year, year before that he finished top five. So Denny McCarthy, pretty good odds to finish in the top 20 here because it is such an elevated and stacked field. Um, and Denny McCarthy just gets it done with his short game and his, and getting the ball in the hole. He's probably one of the best putters I've seen on tour. Um, obviously likes the golf course because of his past history here. So pretty good value in a heavy stack field. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, a guy to, to find some value there. Plus 175 on FanDuel and DraftKings uh, for McCarthy in the top 20. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, last guy, again, pretty well-known name actually, but because it's an elevated field, I think we get some better value with this play. Uh, U.S. Open champion, Matthew Fitzpatrick. Fitz. Um you know, hasn't had the best success here at uh, at Memorial, but again, you talk about guys who are really good with their iron play, guys who gain a lot of shots approach to the green. Data Golf likes Matt Fitzpatrick on this golf course. Um, I, I personally like Matt Fitzpatrick's game. Um, so those are the three names that I'm kind of honing in on for the week. Wow, I, I didn't even realize Fitzpatrick not off to the best start this year. No, it's it's been a slow start, and you know, as a returning U.S. Open champion, we got the U.S. Open coming up next week um, at Pinehurst. So I think he's looking to kick his gear and his game into gear here. Right. Um, so I, I like him for this golf tournament. Uh, I think you get him at a good value right now, and uh, you know, like I said, I think he's he's prepping his game for the U.S. I Open. Like so I look, for, I look for him to have a good week this I week. I like this pick here. I like that top 20 plus 150. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm playing that. All right, so and then, uh, yeah. Let me just write that down so I don't forget. Fitzpatrick top 20, definitely playing. Okay. 
Um, couple honorable mentions here, uh, guys that we've we've talked about um, multiple times before. Uh, Pat Cantlay and Xander Schauffele. Xander Schauffele has five straight top 25s in this event. Um, so you're not really gonna see a lot of great value. Um, however, you know, if you if you like the guy, I think he's a good bet for the week. Um, like I said, it, it's just really hard to find value in the in the sports books because he is such a, a, a heavy favorited guy. Minus 110 to finish in the top 10, Xander. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's you're gonna tough pay, you're to You're paying find. for it. <laughs> yeah, and, and trust me, I, I think it's a pretty good bet. But, you know, when we're we're sitting here, we're talking about value plays. Like, where where can we find value on that? I, I don't really know if it is because, yeah. obviously, there, it, it's such a stacked field. Um, you know, I, I don't really love, you know, the value there. Um, and then, like I said, Pat Cantlay. Pat Cantlay is a past champion here. He's played the golf course well. The, the one thing to note, when Pat Cantlay won this tournament a couple years ago, it was actually when John Rahm had the WD with COVID. And John Rahm had like a seven-shot lead. So I remember that. It, really, it really wasn't like a Pat Cantlay went out and just got it done. Um, so that's one reason I'd shy away from him. But again, you know, just not the best value on Pat Cant this week. Um, yeah, minus yeah. 105 for a top 20. Top 10 is plus 220. Um, that might be, I'm definitely playing Fitzy. Mm -hmm. I might play Cantlay or I might listen to one of these, uh, parlays or whatever you said. You said you had an out of the box parlay, whatever the hell that so, means. <laughs> <laughs> so actually not actually out of the box parlays. I, I misspoke, but, um, I got two different weird plays and, and we cashed on one of them, uh, in one of the other elevated events. I like more Kawa this week over McElroy 72 hole matchup. Okay. Uh, plus money, plus 115 uh, on FanDuel. So I like more power over McElroy, um, 72 hole straight up match play at plus money. All right. I'll, I'll, while you're saying that, I'll put it on the screen so they can see it. Yep. So, yeah, with that, I remember the one we played last time was. It was, I think it was Homa over McElroy. It was, it was somebody no, it over McElroy. I think it might have been Cantlay, to be honest. It, it could have been. I think it was Cantlay over somebody. So this is Colin Moore. It was, over. it was definitely over McElroy. I know that. I can't remember who we took over McElroy. Yep, I think it was Cantlay over McElroy. Okay, cool. And then my last kind of out of the box play. So if right now, I think if you pull up Scotty Scheffler's odds to win right now, right? I think it's plus three sixty or plus four hundred. Uh, you know, on some on some books. Um, if you actually go and bet through FanDuel, they have top player by region and Scotty Scheffler to be the top USA player in the event is plus 260. So he's only got to beat 44 other guys instead of 65 other guys. If you're trying to find some value in Scotty Scheffler, he doesn't even have to win the tournament for you to wow, win. Hold on, hold on. Let's hold on. Memorial tournament. So what I want to look at, and based on what you yeah. just said, is I want to look at the top five or top 10 odds on favorites to win this and how many are not American. So how many yeah. are eliminated by that? So you sure. got Xander Schauffele, American. American, yeah. Rory, Australian. Uh, yeah, yeah right? European. Kyle Morikara is American. Correct. Hovland is not. Correct. Uh, Aberg, not. Not. Cantlay is American. American, yep. Justin Thomas. Okay, so of these top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven golfers, Fleetwood is British. Yep, Fleetwood. And Matsuyama is Japanese. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, hold on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So of the top ten odds on favorites to win this golf tournament, you're taking out like six taking of out. them, five yeah. of them. Yeah. It's it's a really sneaky good value play. So if, rather than betting Scotty Scheffler to win, he could still lose, and you can find almost very similar odds. Wow. So who's the? Okay, uh, that's not bad. I'll put it on the screen. I don't yeah, know if I, mean, I actually like I said, bet that, but that is. A, I, I a don't funny think bet. I'm actually gonna bet it either. But you know, like I said, McElroy could go out and win the damn thing. Scotty Scheffler finishes right. in third, and he still cashes your bet. Well, you know, McElroy at, better at not win because I'm betting Morikawa to, to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, any long shots or anything, or are we good? Uh, you know, we could throw one long shot out there. Why okay. not? 
Um, so we're going to scroll down. We're going to use data golf here for our long shot pick. And in terms of what this person brings to the table, um, Russell Henley is number three. Ooh. Russell Henley All right. is number three. Um, on data golf strokes gained approach, which is the big tool. Um, it's a pretty good long shot play. He's been playing well. You've seen him at the top of the leaderboards in several events this year. Um, data golf likes him, you know, it's, that's been our hammer home for the last five, six weeks while we've been hot. So, you know, if you're looking at a play where, you know, a guy, a guy you're not remotely thinking about at all, um, <laughs> can go out and get it done. You know, right. let, take Henley. a shot on Russell Henley. Got it. All right, man. So thanks for joining. I'm going to uh, get in on a couple of these bets and hopefully have a, well, this will be six out of seven profitable. Six out of seven. Six out of seven profitable tournaments, hopefully. We're going to have yeah. a losing week eventually. I mean, it's hey, going to happen well, eventually. Sh strike while the iron's hot, baby. Exactly. You know? Hop, hop on, on the train. All right. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, see you next Wednesday night. Sounds good.